But how did these ancient traditions survive into our modern era? In Western culture, they were preserved by, of all people, Christians. In a bizarre twist of history, as Christianity spread, it adopted and reimagined pagan folk ways rather than try to stamp them out. This made it easier to convert pagans. A key pagan festival destined to get a Christian makeover was Lemuria, when celebrants placated the dead, culminating on May 13th. Of all the different days that they have in the Roman calendar to celebrate the dead, it was the spookiest. So on the Lemuria, what are called the larvae, the ghosts of the departed would come up um, and haunt people. To quell the dead, pagan Romans poured milk onto their graves or offered them little cakes. But the church co-opted Lemuria in 609 AD, turning May 13th into All Saints Day a day to honor the most holy of dead Christians. Setting aside this day uh, was an attempt to Christianize this very pagan festival, and yet at the same time what it did was it, it kept a lot of the same themes going. The Christianized version of Lemuria was such a success that church leaders made a decision that eventually gave rise to Halloween. They moved All Saints, or Hallows Day, to November 1st, to drain the life out of pagan Samhain. Because Samhain fell on the night of October 31st, before All Hallows Day on November 1st, people started calling Samhain All Hallows Evening, the evening before All Hallows Day. This shortened into All Hallows Even, and finally, into Halloween. And then, to be safe, the church went one step further, adding a holiday to honor not just saints, but everyday Christians. November 2nd became All Souls Day, a church-sanctioned holiday to honor the departed. This is real important for Halloween because this is where Halloween gets its association with dead souls, death, and the supernatural again. So thank the church for inspiring the creepy essentials of Halloween. But wait, there's more. The church also helped establish the tradition of trick-or-treating, sort of. It all started during the Middle Ages on All Souls Day, when priests told Christians to pray for souls trapped between heaven and hell in a netherworld they called purgatory. Purgatory is not a pleasant place. It's not hell. It's not as bad as hell is, but it's still probably pretty fiery. Souls are kind of suffering there. Luckily, there is something that you could do. You could offer up prayers for them. How did souls get out of purgatory? According to the church, if enough prayers were offered, a soul would fly up into heaven. This led to a medieval custom that bears more than a striking resemblance to our modern trick-or-treat. Children would go souling, begging for soul cakes, spiced cakes filled with raisins. In return for these treats, the beggars would offer up prayers for souls trapped in purgatory. <laughs> 